This video will demonstrate how to interface the Ultra Pico Keyer Plus to your computer sound card. Here's the Ultra Pico Keyer, and we're going to use the headphone jack to get it to your computer. And we're going to connect using this stereo audio cable from the headphone jack of the Ultra Pico Keyer Plus to your computer sound card microphone. You can also use a line in jack, but we're going to use the microphone jack for this. And we're going to use one filter so that the side tone sounds better. So let's demonstrate the side tone right away. And here's what it sounds like without the filter. And this is all on Linux, and the CAF, CAF filters are in the repositories. Should be able to get those pretty easy. And we're looking at another CAF filter. So I'm using all CAF filters here for this demonstration. Here's how we set it up. We have the system, which is the microphone jack of the sound card, going to the CAF filter, going to the screen recorder so you can hear it, to my headphone jack for the laptop so I can hear it are the speakers of the computer and we have the analyzer taking a look at it we're also sending it to the pulse audio jack source so that we can send it out on the internet as well the pulse audio jack sync receives from the internet say if you're using mumble or skype and you just have to set the default settings and pulse audio does the rest so let's go into a room. So we're able to receive from the pulse audio jack sync going through a limiter. The limiter helps to keep the uh, spikes. If there's any audio spikes, it won't kill your ears. So we've set it to minus 9 dB. So that will protect your ears if you're wearing headphones. and. Uh, the audio runs around minus 9 at its output, but sometimes there's an opus codec uh, anomaly and an audio artifact that uh, pushes it up to a close to a 0 dB, which is full volume. And so that limiter helps to protect your ears. This ALSA in is my microphone, a USB microphone, going through uh, some more CAF plugins, but that's not for this video. That's just to uh, help the audio here so I can get this recorded. That's basically all you have to do. You have to be familiar with Jack Audio. And there's some videos about that later. Uh, if you want to view those, it'll be in the show notes there for some links on how to set up Jack Audio. But this is really easy for Linux. So once again, to review, we're just coming in the mic. Microphone is coming in here from the Ultra Pico Kilo Plus. Goes to this simple filter. Goes to the sound card so I can hear it and it goes to the Pulse Audio Jack source, so Mumble or Skype or whatever else you're using. If you're having a QSO on the internet, you can use it that way. So you can use your Ultra Pico Keyer Plus to send Morse code on the internet this way and have a very nice sounding side tone using the side tone that's already present in the Ultra Pico Keyer Plus. And the, uh, all these will be in the show notes here if you're interested. So that's just the, the basic setup. It's, it's pretty easy, and it's a very convenient uh, a keyer. It's a very well-built keyer. Anyway, thank you for watching.